When you're doing heat detection, you'll find a brooding group as we have here. This is a group of animals that have isolated themselves away from the rest of the herd. They're very active. Some of them are chasing each other around. You can see that we now have one standing in heat. This cow is walking away slowly, but if she wasn't in standing heat, she'd be moving away much more quickly than she is. She is in good standing heat. The cattle are standing around a lot. You can see the group here. They're, again, they're isolated away from the rest of the cattle. They're standing in a tight group, so you know that something's going on, but you have to stand here and watch. Uh, you see some of the cows with their head up. You know that they're, they're wanting to do something, but you have to pay attention until you know which ones are in heat and which ones aren't. Watching a group like this can be really boring. It seems like nothing's happening, but what you do know is that this is a breeding group. Cows that are in this group could be cows that are just coming into heat because of rising estrogen levels, but they won't stand to be ridden. So I have to be able to tell which are these cows and which are the ones that are truly in standing heat. As the estrogen levels get high enough, those cows are gonna stand and they'll allow the other cows to mount them. Then we know that they're in standing heat. We'll have some other cows that are also in this group that have high estrogen levels but are going out of heat. So their estrogen levels will be dropping and they'll still be active in the group but they won't let other cows mount them again. So again, I have to stand here and watch these cows and I have to watch them until everyone in this group has been attempted to be mounted at least once so that I can eliminate whether she's in heat or she's not. You see that black one is standing? So she is in standing heat. If she would have walked away, then either she's coming into heat or she's going out of heat. She's still with the group, but she won't stand. And that's what my job is if I'm doing heat detection. I have to determine which ones are in standing heat and which ones aren't. As you can see, this red one is in standing heat. So now I can write down her number. So when I come to a group like this, I will write down the numbers of all the cows in the group. And then I'll start to circle the ones that will stand. And that way I know which one. This is the other black one is now in standing heat. So next time I come back, I will look for the ones that were circled as being in standing heat. I'll see if they're still in standing heat. I will also look for the ones that I had written down on my sheet as being in the breeding group but not being in heat to see if they've now come into standing heat so that they can be bred. And now I have another cow that has gone into standing heat, so I can, I can circle her number. It looks like really boring work. You really have to stand here and watch for a long time. I've recorded this clip for about five minutes, but I probably spent at least a half an hour with these cows trying to determine which ones were in heat and which ones weren't. When you watch a group like this, you know that they're a good solid breeding group because when one walks away, you can see the whole group goes. They, they all stick together. So this is a ni nice, tight breeding group. You need to make sure that you record all of the numbers again so that later you can go and check if you're coming in the afternoon again and check to see which ones might be in heat, standing heat at that time. So again, it, it can be really slow, tedious work, but if you don't spend the time, you're going to miss something and your AI program won't be very successful.